County, a small town has found a practical use for this technology. San Anselmo is using it for traffic controls. A group of Bay Area entrepreneurs have paired AI with traffic lights. And as John Ramos shows us, it may be blazing a trail to the future. Okay, we've all done this. You're sitting at a light that seems to take forever and there's no one coming from either direction. You may think that's a pretty dumb light and you'd be right, but they are getting smarter and it's starting right here in San Anselmo. San Anselmo is a small town, but you wouldn't know it from this intersection. Welcome to the hub where Sir Francis Drake, Red Hill and Center Boulevards meet. At 65,000 cars per day, it is the busiest intersection in Marin County, but that means a lot of waiting at red lights. If they get complaints about this intersection. Um, they knew, you know, residents have been telling them for years that they have a problem. But Colin Barnwell and Sabik Pradhan may have solved that problem. Their startup company, Roundabout Technologies, has extended the same kind of intuitive awareness of self-driving cars into traffic control systems. Normal systems use cameras to monitor cars coming from each direction. The controller is taking this input and deciding, well, if something's here, I should probably turn the light green for like 20 seconds because there might be more things there, there might not, I'm not sure. And there's a bunch of cars waiting here, there's a bunch of cars waiting here. Um, but the sensor says there's one person here, so you keep it green. That leaves lines of traffic waiting at red lights for one or sometimes no cars at all but Roundabout's electronic brain assesses the actual real-time situation. Not just cars, but every bike, bus, pedestrian, everybody that's moving around, we're mapping them in a 3D space. And then we're using that positions and velocities to run this real-time simulation uh, 10 times a second. Of, we can make any light change in the timing plan that's allowed. What's the best one for throughput and safety? They say the system is cutting time stuck in traffic at the hub by about 30 percent, 91 hours of combined time for drivers at a cost of 30 cents per hour to the city. And safety is improved because it takes bikes and pedestrians into account as well. Google installed its own traffic system in Seattle, but it only uses Google Maps data to help engineers time their lights better. The roundabout system monitors what's really happening at any given moment. It makes a lot more sense if you can just see what's actually going on and react to what's happening in real time. So I do think that in a lot of ways this is the future and the main reason this, you know, you didn't see this 10, 20, 30 years ago is just because the SEA technology wasn't there to allow you to see everything going on the way that we can today. The system has been operating since August and San Anselmo is the company's first client, but the city has already gotten a grant to install the AI controller in all 12 of its stoplights. Do you feel like this has really proven it's worth now? I do, yeah. And I think uh, it seems like San Anselmo uh, agrees with us. <laughs> Some fear AI will be the downfall of mankind. But if it cuts time waiting in traffic, so be it. The city says it's looking forward to coordinating the technology with other towns in the area. They also say the reaction from residents has been positive. Except for one, there's always one, from someone who said they can no longer check their texts while waiting for the light to change. Always one.